Okay, so this is a, a very short video just to demonstrate how easy it is to change the humidity sensor on an OverEasy. Uh, this is a, an OverEasy 380 Advanced Series 2. The part you require is 21.91, that's the humidity sensor. It comes in a box like this. It comes with the actual part, which is the humidity sensor, and it comes with a simple set of instructions. Um, so, first thing first, you need to turn your machine off. If you've got eggs in it, you need to remove your eggs and the trays. Now remember that you can take your eggs out for short periods, even up to two hours, it's not a problem. So obviously unplug the power lead from the back and then unscrew the top 10 screws, if you like, that are here around the machine. So take the lid off the machine, remove the water tray that's in the incubator and then uh, I'll show you how to release the sensor from uh, the top of the machine. There's absolutely no point sending uh, a machine back if it's just a case of replacing the sensor on the machine. You can do this yourself it probably take you 15 minutes. So that's all the front screws done. Just going to whip that around. There's a couple of screws here on the back. You take those out. Main thing to do, make sure you've got a screwdriver that actually fits, because otherwise it's a bit more of a challenge to get the screws out, and you end up potentially damaging the uh, screw. There we go, that's the screws. Turn that back round. See it? Okay. okay. So I'm going to take this lid off. And there we are. So we said we need to take the um, the water uh, reservoir out. There we go. Water reservoir's out. So the instructions say here to uh, release the sensor lead from the white clip inside the incubator to the left of the water tray bracket. So that here, if you like, is the sensor lead. Okay, so we've got to re release it from the white clip here. So what we need to do is to snip that clip so we can get this out. So what you need is probably a little pair of um, scissors, probably the best thing, sharp scissors. So here we go, little pair of scissors, and I just want to cut through that without obviously cutting any of the wires. There we are, that's now taking that out, and now everything is free here. So it simply says next that using a pair of long nosed pliers. Carefully pull the white sensor connector out of the side of the control module housing. So that's the control module housing. Uh, that this is the four way connector at the bottom. So it's at the bottom here. So I just need to pull those out. And the best thing to do is to do that with a pair of long nosed pliers. So it says using a pair of long nosed pliers, carefully pull the white sensor connector out of the side of the control module housing. This is a four way connector at the bottom. Now, uh, Here's a pair of long nosed pliers, and in an ideal world, it would be great if you could pull that out with the long nosed pliers. However, in reality, if you just get hold of those wires and just very gently, just gently ease them out, you'll find that should come out on its own like that. Okay, so um, all we then have to do is to 
ease this little grommet here out of its hole. You're probably able to do that by hand actually. Just gently pull until it comes, works its way loose. There we go. So that's worked its way loose there. So you don't want to rip it, just gently ease it out. And see that's the little grommet that's now come out. Okay. That is the sensor, this one here. And that's the one we're just going to now gently pull up and through the hole that we've created by releasing that grommet. Okay. There we go. So let's gently pull this through. We've released the grommet, we gently pull it through and out it comes just like that. Okay. So then we put the other sensor back in the new one and it's just uh, an exact um, kind of doing it backwards in exactly the same way so we put our sensor in gently fits through there uh, position it so that the sensor hangs approximately 25 millimeters below the metal rail that holds the water tray so there's the rail that holds the water tray. That's my sensor. So I want the sensor to go about 25 millimeters, it says, below the rail that holds the water tray. That's about 25 millimeters. So that's where it wants to sit. Now push this grommet back into place. You might need a screwdriver to do this if you can't do it with your fingers. Yeah, let's push that back. It is going in, but just a. There we are. It's back in place and it's set at 25 millimeters below. Then all we do is we position that back in and slide this little socket, if you like, back in into here. And uh, you've got a little wedge shaped on this side. So it goes in sideways in like that, makes connection. So in we go, just find, if you look very carefully, you'll see where it plugs in here, and it just clips in back in. And you'll feel it click into position. And then all we need to do now is put the little uh, cable tie back in to hold these in position. So <clears throat> all we need to do is replace now that cable tie it's quite simple to do, as you can see. I got my two sets of cables here, one for the, the sets I've replaced and then the other set of cables. I'm just going to put my cable tie around, hold those in place, put that back in, which helps if you do it the right way. Into there, zip that up. There we go. And then if I want to, I can just snip that off. There we go. And then all we do is replace that lid and the 10 screws and we're done. So having put the lid of the Overeasy back on, uh, we can put all our parts back in there. Uh, the only thing we might want to do, uh, we could put our eggs back in there if we're desperate to get eggs back into it. Uh, the only thing we might want to do is to um, use a thermometer and position it to check that the internal temperature is doing exactly the same as it is reading on the display. Uh, if it isn't, we can adjust that, it's called recalibration. Um, um, we can adjust that very simply. We need a thermometer to do it though. Okay.